Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super late with this one. This is November's Currently Inked and we are already on November 9th, so I'm only like 10 days late. Um, <laughs> but I'm still gonna get it done. Um, I've got some new pens. That's a pencil. Um, yeah, I've got some new pens, some new nibs, some thoughts. Um, so let's just get started. Sorry about the noise, you know how it is. I am hoping that I am timing this properly and that we're not gonna get too much noise from the school across the street, but no guarantees. So let's get started. I am using this um, ink journal. This is the Endless Recorder. Um, it's no longer my ink journal. I've actually switched over to an Odyssey notebook. Um, I just, I don't know, the further I got into this, the less I liked it. Um, and it's entirely my fault. It's the way that I set it up. It's just not working. So I've done this. And uh, of course I messed it up. I dropped it all over the place. So um, if anybody wants to see it uh, flip through, let me know. But for the time being, we're gonna use this just to do our currently inked. So here we go. Okay, so let's get started. First up is this Franklin Kristoff. 45 gemstone se it has a number five nib um this is from their last online pen show i can't lie um it's taken me a little bit to like this pen it's just it's been it's been a process i like the pen itself actually it's not the pen this is a 45. uh the issue was the nib I, I got a broad cursive italic. And yes, I am familiar with cursive italics. I know how they work. <laughs> but it's just this, this is scratchy. It's really hard to find the sweet spot. And then even then on the upstroke, it gets really scratchy and it almost snags on the paper. It's kind of, it's interesting. Um, Oh, so much noise. This is ink with Diamine Oudinil, which is a beautiful blue ink. What is that? What is that noise outside? I'm gonna try and minimize it in editing, but no guarantees. Um, next up, oh, this is my other new pen. Well, new is relative. Um, this is a 19... 50 yes i think 1950 esterbrook lj so this is the slimmer version of the j it's so beautiful it's a liver filler it's just mint like it has no scratches on it and it is a slimmer pen and in spite of that i enjoy this so much uh let's see look he even sent like the little box for the nib because it's a 2668 steel nib look at the box like you can see all the the aging on it i don't know i thought that was super cool i appreciated the box <laughs> so this is an esther brook lj and this is um the green color there's different colors to this pen and it has a firm medium nib um, this purchase was heavily influenced by Hitchcock's The Birds. <laughs> this is inked with uh, Meligon Aquamarine. Um, if you've ever seen that movie and you've paid attention, oops, which is not something I'm doing right now, um, to Melanie, she uses an L, well, not an LJ, I think it's a J. But, close enough, this is beautiful. From what I've seen, the J is just a little bit thicker, which makes no difference. I also got another <laughs> vintage pen this past month, month and a half, and um, I've been looking for this for a long time. Not as long as my Holy Grail Schaefer, but, well, you know, I've kept my eye out. Um, this, I mean, I've kept my eye on it, you know, just see what pops up. So this is a 1948, look at that, so pretty. I don't think my camera, oh, it's dusty, it's, it's capturing the color correctly, but this is a uh, 
1950. No, this is a 1948. Parker 40, 51, this is the Aerometric Demi. Now I made a mistake, I put a really wet ink in this pen and I should have known better. <laughs> but you know, it's like this really deep plum color and I, the only color I could think of in ink is like writer's blood and it's like, oh no. <laughs> And this has a 14 karat fine nib, but of course it won't write like a fine nib with writer's blood. It's super wet. Um, oh my god, that airplane. No, sorry you could hear that. I'm sure you heard it though, but it's just, it's loud and no control over that. Look at that. I love this pen. It may be a Demi, which is a little bit smaller, I think, like barely than the regular 51s, but it's so pretty. Ah! Um, I'm gonna do this one. Why not? Because I actually don't hate this pen. Go figure. And this is a Nami Safari. This has an extra fine nib. Look at this shading. When I get you guys up close, you're going to see the shading, even with an extra fine nib. And it's this beautiful ink. Highly underrated. It's Diamine Honey Burst. This nib was actually really nice and smooth right out of the box, so... One of the few safaris that I'm like, yay, or just Lamy nibs in general. Um, speaking of Lamy nibs in general, do you guys remember this? Um, it's from a couple months ago. And this is my studio. It had an extra fine nib, and I freaking hated that nib. It's inked with um, Robert Oster Velvet Storm for a reason. Because this was a pen that I was supposed to use in my book of shadows, but the nib was giving me problems. So instead, I got another nib, um, and it's so much better. So this is Nami Studio, and this now has a broad nib, which is super juicy. And as I said, this is Robert Oster. Velvet Storm. Uh, this new nib was really soft and smooth So this is the way that I expected the original nib to write, but we we'll see how that goes. I Did a thing. I, I love this pen. You guys know I love my my 700 R from the second I got it. I changed the nib and Really really enjoying it. Um, I'm just using up what's left in here. I don't want to throw it out I didn't want to put it back in the inkwell I could have put it in a sample vial, but I didn't, so I'm just using it up. This is why there's two pens inked with it. So this is the uh, Twisby 700R, and it now has a 1.1 stub nib, which I find made my pen so much better. Look, I really, really enjoy it. Even more than I did before. Oh, I think my heat just kicked in. Which is crazy that I had to turn it on to begin with. Like, uh, it's just so much better. So I'm really, really enjoying this pen. Um, another pen that has ink that I'm just trying to get through and finish is my Twisby Mini. My little 580. I love this pen. Do I have enough space there? No, I don't. Let's move over here. Okay. So this is a Twisby 580 Mini. And this has a medium nib. This has been a really, really great combo. And this is 
Did I spell that correctly? I don't know. Van Diemen's Twilight Mist. Um, this is a very shimmery ink, but the shimmer particles are really, really fine. So it never clogged my, my feet or my nib or anything. It's never given me any issues at all. You can actually see the, the purple right there on the feet. I love it. Um, I'm just trying to finish it because same reason as the other one. I don't want to throw it out or flush it out. Or it's, it's too little ink to put it in a vial, in a sample vial, because it's just too little ink. <laughs> um, this also has been around for months months i don't even know why i still have it just trying to finish it and it's my twist be eco this is the clear and this also has a medium nib which is so interesting because i remember going through this phase where all my twisbees were like extra fine fine and then I switched over to medium for some reason. <laughs> and this is inked with Pelican Smoky Quartz. One of my favorite inks. And then let's do the other Twisby. And this one is the Twisby Eco. Um, my planner this month is like brown colors, which is why I have those brown inks and then the random ones thrown in there just because, you know, for my journal to make them look pretty. This is also a medium. And this is inked with Our Oster Cafe Crema, which I finally gave in and bought the full size of because I've gone through a bunch of samples and I love it. So I was like, yes, I'm sure, I'm positive, buy it. You like it. <laughs> um, oldie but a goodie. One of my favorite pen and ink combos. Oops, and this is my. And BBS four, five, six, and this has a fine nib that honestly writes like a medium. I don't see a lot of fine in that. <laughs> and this is um, JR1 Emerald of Chicken. I love this ink, and this is the only pen that gets inked with it. It just, they work so well together. It's like the perfect combo. And lastly, we have this Jin Hao 51A. And this is in the Amber Ombre coloring. I don't think Goulet has it anymore. It's so pretty. And this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. This this I have issues with this pen. Um, and I don't know if it's the ink. I don't know what's going on. But from the second I got it. Like I'm trying to like it. I'm trying to get it to work. I've done brass sheets. I've done like. It, there's something off with this pen. Um, it's super dry. And I don't think it's the ink. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Because it's a, it's a sample of an ink that I'm trying out. And this is Robert Oster. Australis Oak. So if you guys have this ink, let me know if it's a dry one. Because holy moly. Although I think I tried it on my Hobonichi. Um, and it worked f better than it's working on this paper. So I don't know if that's old Tomer River paper and this is new and maybe that's the issue. It could be. I could be mistaken, but it could be. So anyways, 
That is it, I think. Yes? That is it for this month's Currently Inked, November. Let me get you up close. See that Oudinil? What a beautiful shade of blue. It's so pretty. That Esterbrook. Oh, writes like a dream. Look at the shading in Honey Burst. Um, Twilight Mist. I don't think I'm picking up the shimmer. Same as for Emerald of Chicken. I don't think I'm picking up the shimmer, but it's there. But yeah. So there you go. That's it for November's Currently Inked. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you've got any thoughts on Australis Oak, let me know. Um, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.